Good day! Today, we will connect our SAM IoT board to Azure IoT. This will be our main reference. And here, there's some background knowledge which discusses the provisioning process and the difference between Microchip and Microsoft. It is good to understand this part because we will do this and it allows you to understand where the certificates are stored throughout the provisioning process. Let's just scroll here and let's start with programming the SAM IoT board. You have to make sure the development tools are properly installed. Ampelab X, Compiler, Harmony, Git. This is the new one here. It is another link, so let's check. Since our board is SAM IoT WG, we have to provision it with the correct certificates so that it can connect to Azure IoT. Now we have to update the firmware of the WIC 1510 and get the certificates installed. There's the chain of trust, it just discusses cryptography, Python, and here, provisioning procedure. We have to clone this repository, but I already have it here. When the board is connected, it will enumerate as a Curiosity drive. If I show this here, this is the Curiosity board. And it asks us to open a serial terminal. And apparently, there is a hex file here that will allow us to update the firmware of the Wing 1500. Of course, you don't have to drag and drop everything. We can do it the traditional way of using IPE. I have previously connected this. This is the host MCU. By the way, I have MPLAB X open. So let me close that first because MPLAB X is competing with IPE. Alright. The hex file has already been selected. Alright, programming complete. Now let's check our serial terminal. It has been connected to the board. And my firmware version is 19.7.6. So it is the latest one. Next, it wants us to open a batch file. This is the original batch file and I have already configured this one based on the instructions here. It says the arguments are the cloud service that you'd like to use. So we're going to use Azure. The Wink version that you'd like to install. By the way, on this one, go to Wink Upgrader. You can see the versions of the Wink firmware. This process requires 6.5 and above. We always go with the latest firmware. The COM port is 7. I believe we have it here. And the Curiosity drive is on drive F. Disconnect this first so that it will not compete with our batch file. And then execute this one. Basically, we just want to convert this so that it's easier to execute the batch file. Here's our command prompt. By the way, I want to show this because we need to use the file as our utils version. 8.2.24 or the latest one. Alright, now it has finished. It took a while. Then to verify, there should be files here. Alright, everything's set. We can close this one. And then install Fi Azure Utils. Dash V4 version. There we go. Everything is installed. Now we can go to. It is recommended to go to IoT Central. So this is the programming procedure. And it wants us to clone this repository. I have already done that. 
Now, this is important because it copies the library from the Azure IoT repository to your local one. We have to do this in order to build the project. Now, it tells us to just drag and drop the hex file. But of course, I want to do it another way. This is the project and programming complete. Now let's go back to the instructions. It wants us to connect using a serial terminal. So we have it here. Oh, the bug is enabled by default. So we want the bug zero. My local echo is turned on. That's why the text is getting doubled. So never mind that. Wi Fi dash set. Now our board is connected to Wi Fi. We can try the bug for again to verify. Oops, there's a command. Let's try that. There's the false one. It means the, cl the cloud part is not connected yet. This is the debug messages for our Wi Fi connection. All right, so it's time to create the IoT template. This is our template following this link. Let's copy this URL. We need that later for the provisioning pricing plan. I haven't tried free, but on the previous video, I have encountered issues using this plan. So let's just start with the standard billing. Then I have a subscription here. Just click this page if you want to set up your subscription. Now let's create my application. Create this one. Our application is now provisioned. Now we need to go to chain of trust directory. Provision, generator, chain of trust, TT. And it wants us to execute this command. So we can use that, but of course we need to change the application name. These are the description of the parameters, so we can just follow it and try to execute the command. All right, there's the login. Registration complete. Let's follow this. And we need ZID scope. This is the dashboard, so we go to admin, device connection. Copy the ID scope on our cellular terminal. Let's debug zero so ID scope. ID scope. Paste the new one. Let's verify that the ID scope is correct. 371. Let's try debug for again. Cloud status is true. Based on the board, it has transmitted on the MQTT broker. I'm going to maximize this. Devices, IoT2, provisioned. All right. This is the raw data with this temperature. Now let's see what the instructions tell us. It just wants us. All right. Oh, we can now verify the buttons. So let's try that. The button press. And let's see. All right, there's the button name and press count. Since we verified that the communication is okay, we can now visualize our data. Go to dashboard. We can edit. 
start devices so and this is when you want to add a new item here but for example we can edit this and register it to our device then for example LED state just to match the name and update we can see that LED is on we can edit this data bucket and we want to get the temperature 35 so that's gonna change and let's try brightness oops I believe based on the MQTT messages and open this and check the telemetry we're only sending temperature so that's the only one that we see there should be the brightness I'm not sure why we don't have that MQTT message but since the firmware is okay now and the communication has been verified to work it's just a matter of time to add that for the last instructions they just want us to edit the dashboard it's really up to you all right thank you